so you've come here to study fashion. From now on, and for the next few years, you will be a fashion student. So asking what fashion is may seem a tad elementary to you, but I hope you'll stay with me. For this phenomenon called fashion is, when it really comes down to it, actually quite tricky to pin down. So fashion is what we wear. The fashion historian Anne Hollander gives us this definition of fashion. Everybody has to get dressed in the morning and go about the day's business. What everybody wears to do this has taken different forms in the West for about 700 years. And that is what fashion is. But can you think of examples which fall outside of this? There may be clothes that are difficult to define as fashion. We have recently seen the importance of the physical protection garments, or garments to save lives. Can the PPA worn by staff in intensive care be described as fashion? Uniforms don't seem to be obviously about fashion. They have so many other functions and meanings. But when we look at uniforms from an historical perspective, we see that they're not outside fashion. They change and reflect cultural values and practices. Did you watch the series Unorthodox on Netflix yet? It's incredible, but this series is an in also an incredible illustration of the power of clothes and the boundaries of fashion. What is worn by the Orthodox community in Williamsburg, New York, can with difficulty be described as fashion more perhaps like a form of anti-fashion. Clothing here express religious devotion and conformity to, to community traditions, deliberately setting the wearers apart from Western fashion. Because fashion is change. Fashion can be seen as a mechanism driven by cultural, political and economic factors, at the heart of which is change. Fashion is fashion by nature of his desire for novelty, originality, transformation. Defined by what it celebrates as in fashion and on trend, or by what it has discarded as out of fashion and past. But also, paradoxically, by its hankering for nostalgia and his own past. So now it's all about the 1990s or, by the look of this, 1970s. Fashion is an industry. Fashion is estimated to be worth around 1.3 to 1.5 trillion US dollars. Globally, 65 to 70 million people work in the fashion industry. But only a few of them as designers. Fashion is a business which ultimately seeks to make money. And as we know, this profit-driven approach can lead to destructive exploitations of humans and the environment. But fashion is also creative. And it's not always about making money, but about creative and artistic expression. It is about our need to somehow visually and materially express something meaningful and beautiful. And fashion is identity. We use fashion to define and find our place in the world. Who am I? Who do I want to be? How do I want people to see me? And we also use fashion, style and dress to inform us when we make judgments of other people. So fashion is culture. Fashion creates culture and culture creates fashion. We cannot escape it. So why not harness its creative potential to change culture to become more inclusive and empowering, less destructive and elitist? And lastly, this model is called fashion cultures. In the plural, because there can never be just one culture. We want to explore fashion in all, in, in all its diversity because it can help us better understand what it means to be human in this strange, strange world.